Okay, so is there a way I can live? Today I'm reacting to Scream, 1996. I'd like to say I'm excited to get into this, but I don't like scary movies. So, there's that. So I guess let's just get into it. But before we do, please like the video, comment, subscribe, all the things. Thank you to the people watching this. What's wrong with you? Thank you to my Patreon members. I couldn't do this without you, so thank you so much. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, now we're just starting with scary music. And people screaming. We don't need any of that. Hello? Hello? Is that Drew Barrymore? Well, I think you have the wrong number. You don't need to be so persistent. Wait, wait, don't hang up. What? I want to talk to you for a second. He's got a real creepy voice. I am not happy that this seems to be just jumping right into things. You know, I would like a good 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 minutes of build-up and five, three, one minute of scary. What's your favorite scary movie? Am I watching scary movie? The guy in the white mask who walks around and stalks babysitters. I've seen that one. It wasn't scary. Nightmare on Elm Street. I haven't seen that one. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. Oh no. I want to know who I'm talking to. It's not what you said. Oh, that's creepy. I don't like that. I don't think so. Don't hang up on me. Why'd that sound like a threat? I told you not to hang up on me. Dial someone else, okay? Oh, you did it again. More of a game, really. Can you handle that? This is already scarier than Halloween was. <laughs> also, I think I have the volume on too loud, but I think that's going to help the reaction. Seconds away from calling the police. They'd never make it in time. But also I think someone told me in the Halloween reaction, they put the dialogue at a lower volume so that the jump scares are louder to freak people out. Are they doing that here? You might as well just come out here to investigate a strange noise or something. The camera walking up to her like it's the bad guy. I lied. I do have a boyfriend. He's big and he plays football. His name wouldn't be. Steve, would it? Oh no. Turn on the patio light. Oh no. Is he gonna be out there? I know who it is. I dressed up as this person for Halloween one year when I was a kid. Then he dies no! right now. Which is it? She said he was big. Name the killer in Halloween. Mike Myers. Yeah, baby! <laughs> then you should know Jason's mother was the original killer. Oh man, that's a spoiler. I've never seen it. Steve. How'd he do that? Final question. Are you ready? No. Please. That was very loud. I don't like that. Oh, there he is. Looking like a Hogwarts student running through the house. Come on, he can't be magical. He's in the house. Yeah, you need to, like, run. Nice. Good job. <laughs> you know, when you see him in the light like this, he doesn't seem all that scary. Yeah, obviously he stabbed her, but he's not super intimidating like this. Drew Barrymore is dying in the first 15 minutes of the movie? Oh, that's just sad. You're not gonna show us? We're waiting till Scooby-Doo and his crew come by to reveal that it was a billionaire. Casey! Casey! I'm getting sad. Police! I think the music's really good. Nope, 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 nope. I don't like this movie. Not a fan. This is gonna get a low rating. I could have sworn I heard screaming. Nope, no screaming. Not in here. The Exorcist was on. Got me thinking of you. Why? Well, two years ago, we started off hot and heavy. Nice solid R rating on our way to an NC-17. This feels like an episode of Community, where things are very meta. 
thought maybe we could do a little on top of the glow stuff. Okay. Sure. I got time. If you really want to keep things over the clothes, you both got to put on long johns. Did you settle for a PG-13 relationship? <laughs> Is that a PG-13 relationship? This is an R-rated movie, and we didn't see anything. I don't need to. I'm not saying that I wanted to. I'm just saying we didn't. Oh, this happened yesterday. Based on no evidence, I thought there was a bit of a time jump, but it was recent. It would appear to be your turn. Your turn for what? Who's up next? Uh, Sydney. Oh. Henry Winkler? Man, this cast. So fun. The police just want to ask you a few questions. You okay? Mm -hmm. Sydney, were you very uh, close to Casey Beck? Why would a why would a principal do that? Weird. They didn't ask me if I liked that. It's because there's no way a girl could have killed him. Where's Scooby? Matthew Lillard? He's got to be the one to solve this. What are you saying? That I killed her? It would certainly improve your high school kill. Stu was with me last night, right? Yeah, it was. We were wearing long johns. No, I didn't kill anybody. Nobody said you did. Thanks, buddy. I don't believe that any of these people are friends. Better live her alone. Live her alone! <laughs> Puns! <laughs> you know, the police and reporters and everything, it's like deja vu all over again. Did something happen to her mom? It is daytime, there should be no haunting, horror things happening right now. It's not allowed, it's against the rules. The bodies of 17 by the girl's parents. The Woodsboro double murder. There is no way Cartoon Network is reporting on this right now. So that should be safe. So it was recent too, because she looks about the same in that picture. Oh no. They're really making a point to show us the sun's going down. They're following the rules, but now it's time to get scared. Oh no. It's the call. Hello, Sydney. Well, it's like right out of a horror movie. How does he know? It is a horror movie. What's your favorite scare? Herbie fully loaded. Randy, that's so unoriginal. I'm disappointed in you. Maybe that's because I'm not Randy. I'm Batman. So who are you? The question isn't who am I? Who am I? Who am I? So where are you? Your front porch. So don't go out the front door. Go out the back door. Well, I call you a bluff. Wow, she's brave. Wanna die, Sydney? Oh my gosh. Ooh, that was a good dodge. Nice. You know, I will say, this villain definitely doesn't have the presence of a Mike Myers. Not even my father can enter when I do this. You've lost. I'm to hurt screaming. Are they trying to make us think that it's him? It does seem like a costume you can get on and off pretty quick. Why was he standing like that? Why would you say tougher than she looks? Yeah, it's definitely pointing to the boyfriend for sure. Although it does seem quick that he was able to leave the room from one side, then pop up at the window. Can you tell me anything? Yeah, you're a real pain in the ass. Oh wait, that's Monica. Are you sure it was in Hilton? At the airport. He's not registered there. Where's the dad? Sydney said you crawled through a window last night too. You went out last night? Oops. Got bored, I decided to go for a ride. I think it'd be too straightforward that he did it, so I don't think that he did, even though things point to it right now. 
Then why are you staring at her like that? You sell this costume every five and dime in the state. There's no way to track the purchase. That's true. I had never seen the movie, and I've been this thing for Halloween. You think he did it? 20 years ago, I would have said not a chance. But these kids today... <laughs> these youths, they're capable of anything. So, how's the book? I'll send you a copy. <coughs> oh. <laughs> nice shot, bitch. What, what happened between them? You're probably going to get sued, though. Do you really think Philly did it? He was destined to have a flaw. Yeah, serial killer is a big flaw. An innocent guy doesn't stand a chance with you. Leave me alone! Is it you, Dewey? Billy was released. His cellular bill was clean. He didn't make those calls. Aw, you got your boyfriend back. What? Just a sec. She gonna talk to Billy? Does Billy wanna talk? <laughs> Round two. You owe me. I owe you shit. You owe my mother. Your mother's mother what happened? Somebody was gonna write a book about it. Right, and it had to be you with all your lies and bullshit theories. What is your problem? I don't like her. If I'm right about this, I could save a man's life. Do you know what that could do for my book sales? <laughs> yep. Really don't like her. <laughs> That's gotta be so traumatizing. He called me again last night at Tatum's house. You see? Couldn't have been me. I was in jail. Okay, we get it. <sighs> Sorry, please understand. I feel like you should. I have a girlfriend who would rather accuse me of being a psychopathic killer than touch me. Okay, dump him. Get rid of him. He's the worst. Billy, I was attacked and nearly filleted last night. I mean, between us. <laughs> My mom was killed. I can't believe you're bringing this up. No, it's been a year. Well, I think it's <laughs> Why aren't you over it yet? It's just that I want my girlfriend back. No. He is a walking red flag. Your entire habit-inducing, thieving, whoring generation disgusts me. <laughs> so, two of you. You're both expelled. Get out. Oh, come on, oh, Mr. Wow. Henry. Wow. That's not fair. <laughs> this guy's intense. Fairness would be to rip your insides out, hang you from a tree so we can expose you for the heartless, desensitized little shit that you are. I'm used to laughing when Henry Winkler speaks, not being shocked by his intensity. What would Sydney want with Steve? Maybe she's a slut, just like her mother. Okay, well, maybe she should kill them. Her mother was a tramp. She's delusional. Where's God? Why are all these 30-year-olds in this high school bathroom? And why are they being so cruel? Nope, it's daytime. It's daytime. I'm not gonna get scared. I, they're not allowed to do this. It's daytime. Someone there? It's your conscience speaking. <laughs> oh, wow. Everything's under control. Well, of course, you're here. Don't manipulate Dewey like this. You look awfully young to be a police officer. I'm 25 years old. <laughs> so young. Does the force require you to work out? No, ma'am. Come on, man, don't fall good looks. I think they got married in real life around this time. The Woodsboro Police Department has issued a citywide curfew. Dewey did that with all 25 of his years and upper torso. You are much prettier in person. Dewey. Please call me Gail. You're being manipulated, Dewey. He's definitely got a weird energy, but I don't think it's Mr. Winkler. The Fonz would never do this. You can't pretend you're good looking when yourself scared you, when you are scared by your own face. Damn little shits. Would you call me? Not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that movie, but I, I know the reference. I've seen Mr. Kruger. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not the Fonz. Don't freak yourself out, okay? We've got a long night ahead. <laughs> That wasn't a very intimidating zoom. Oh! Why? <laughs> For what purpose? 
If you were the only suspect in a senseless bloodbath, would you be standing in the horror section? He should put out a table and start Such signing bad. copies. That's the beauty of it all. Simplicity. Besides. <laughs> Lady in the back. Uh, uh, what? Maybe Sydney wouldn't have sex with him. Well, now it does seem like it's this guy. <laughs> no, I don't at all. No. <laughs> I need to see more things with Matthew Lillard. I, I've only seen him, I think, in Scooby-Doo and this. There's a formula to it. Everybody's a suspect. Even me? Maybe your movie freaked mind lost its reality button. You ever think of that? You're absolutely right. I'm the first to admit it. If this were a scary movie, I'd be the prime suspect. Oh no, that makes me think it's not him. Motives are incidental. Millennium. I don't know. Is it someone we've seen? I I don't know. I don't. I couldn't tell you. It's weird that they can't find the dad and that he's not where he was supposed to be. The one who just seems most like they would do it is that movie store guy, but now it seems like a little too on the nose. My gut for no evidence is saying Matthew Lillard, but I've got no reason. It's just he's a face I recognize. He's got a little bit of creepiness to him, and they haven't given us clues that it's definitely him. Those calls are listed to Neil Prescott. He made the calls with the cellular phones. Why would the dad do it? The boots. Though, the guy seemed like a smaller dude. So I don't know. I don't think it's him. They keep telling us that, it, oh, it might be this person. And as soon as they do that, I'm like, nah, it's not them. Not much of a story here. Just a bunch of kids. And what are you doing here? Just keeping an eye on things. I'm gonna take the party out. Do you mind if I join you? What if it's her, and somehow in the interviewing with the, the guy who's going to prison, she like fell in love with him, and she's trying to clear his name? Just a thought. She seems fishy. How come Jamie Lee Curtis is in all of his movies? She's a legend. Tits. See? You're not gonna believe who's here. Yeah, I'm here. here. Oh, oh. <laughs> She's gonna make this party so much cooler. Oh no, that's scary. Oh no, is she gonna be next? Gotta start chucking those beer bottles at him. Oh, you want to play psycho killer? <laughs> Can I be the helpless victim? Yes, you may. Cut, Casper. That's a wrap. Yeah, it doesn't look like the police captain. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this this bad guy really Fucker! knows how to fall. Door. Can she make it? I want to just fall back through. Okay, we're just gonna believe the movie that that's possible because it doesn't seem likely. Rest in peace. Oh, Billy, hey. Okay, are we thinking Billy again? What's Leatherface doing here? He came to make up. So many scary movie references. I've been selfish. Billy, I, I'm the one who's been selfish, self-absorbed with all this post-traumatic stress. <laughs> I have to apologize yeah, for my right. PTSD. This isn't a movie. Sure it is, it. It's all, it's all a movie. It's all one great big movie. What? It is? Oh, man. She just apologized for PTSD, and now she's gonna give him what he wants. Are you sure? Yeah. I think so. Ooh, I think so. If you're a guy and you hear that, I think so is a no. It's great that he asks, are you sure? But if she says, yeah, I think so, be like, stop. Not happening until it's a very yes. When do we yes. see Jamie Lee's yes. breath? Boobies! Say boobies! Not a big deal! Could afford a decent pair. <laughs> What'd you say? How dare you? There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. 
You can never have sex. <laughs> Boo. You can never drink or do drugs. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> never, ever, ever to say, I'll be right back. Because you won't be back. I'm getting another beer. You want one? Oh, no. He's a goner. I don't even think he needed to say, I'll be right back. I think another rule is if you say, I'm going to go get another beer, that's basically saying, I'll be right back. You care to join me? I'd love to. If you're sure it's all right. Uh, Ma'am, I'm the deputy of this town. Dewey, you make me sad, Dewey. Do you know what that consolation is? No, what is it? I don't know, that's why I was asking you. <laughs> Shh. No. Are, they, are they allowed to use this music? Okay, I still think you're being played, Dewey. Is that what you're looking for? My whole life. This is Neil Prescott's car. Is it his father? Gosh, they're really pointing to him. Just, it's still, it makes me think it wasn't him. Who'd you call when you're arrested? You're allowed one phone call, so I was just curious. Who'd you call? Ghostbusters. I called my dad. Hmm. Huh. Is it Billy? You don't still think it was me, do you? No. No. Got really intense eyes, sir. What do I have to do? It's unnerving. To prove to you that I'm not a killer. Huh? Oh my God. Uh, Sydney. Here's the proof. We're good. <laughs> I'm just so confused. <laughs> oh, is she gonna fall? <laughs> Okay, don't stay there. Watch out, Jamie. You know he's around. <laughs> Why are you so scared, man? That movie was not, not even a little scary. Look behind you. Turn around. Behind <laughs> you. Why is this guy dressed like Shaggy? So it's not Kenneth. I wasn't super suspicious of Kenneth, but, you know, we gotta rule everybody out. What? Oh, 30 second delay. Oh, no. What? <laughs> Just go, go around, go back through the door. There are a lot of themes in the music that are very reminiscent of Halloween. Obviously, that's an iconic soundtrack. <coughs> Kenny, I need the cellular! Sorry to inform you. Kenny's dead. Kenny! But he's not a serial killer. We can probably rule her out as well. Oh, that's creepy. Oh god, get me, I'm sorry, but get off my windshield! <laughs> this is a crime scene, ma'am. Can't just do that. Oh. You ruined a perfectly good crime scene. Dewey! So it's not Dewey. No, you can't do that. That's impersonating a cop. You're gonna have to get out, unfortunately. Stop right there! Don't shoot it to me! It's you, Billy! Shoot my dude! Is it one of these two? Please give me that gun! Give me that gun! Yeah, I think it's Matthew Lillard. He's the bad guy. Oh. You're trying to recover from a stabbing. You don't need to be falling downstairs. Oh my god. Nobody's out there! We're gonna figure out who did this, right? We all go. No. So it was Billy. Surprise, Sydney. They're working together? You see, we ask you a question, if you get it wrong, you die. You get it right, you die. Okay, so is there a way I can live? I don't really believe in motive, Sid. I mean, did Norman Bates have a motive? No. Did they ever really decide why Hannibal Lecter liked to eat people? Don't think so. I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to these questions. I'd be dead. Did your mom a favor, Sid? That woman was a slut bag. Yeah, we put her out of her misery. I don't like you, Billy. I knew you were a red flag, but... Now you're no longer a virgin. Now you gotta die. Those are the rules. They are the rules. They're not great rules, but they were laid out. Oh! What do we have behind door number three? Oh, uh, that makes sense. 
Oh my gosh, this is unnerving. It's not scary, it's just unnerving. But us, we gonna carry on playing the sequel, because let's face it, baby, these days, you gotta have a sequel. What are they on, like, six now? I'm a Billy Wood, y'all right? I'm feeling a woozy air. Yeah. They are insane. Where the f is it? Right here, asshole. <laughs> Finds the gun, foils your plan. Um, less talking, more shooting. We didn't have a huge monologue. Maybe we'd figure that out sooner. What? <laughs> She's gone. Hello? Ah, oh, Stu, Stu, Stu. I like her bravery. My mom and dad are <laughs> Oh my gosh. This movie is baffling. Oh, wow. Trick or treat. Where's her dad? In your dreams. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go, Monica. Good job. Guess I remember the safety that time. Bastard. We needed a, a tagline like that. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life for one last scare. <laughs> Not in my oh movie. gosh. It's true. Okay, Dewey's still alive. That's good. Like the plot of some scary movie. <laughs> How many times have they said scary movie in this movie? Also wasn't super scary. It had it was suspenseful. Had some suspense. Thriller aspects, you know. A little bit of that. Okay. Wes Craven. I've heard the name. Okay, the original Scream. Like I was just saying, I didn't think it was super scary. Maybe I'm just a very brave person. Which is not true. Um, it was suspenseful. And it was exciting. It was fun. I enjoyed it. It was also funny. Humor is kind of how I get through scary movies. So maybe there was some of that going on. And I'll be like freaking out later tonight while I'm trying to sleep. But all in all, a solid movie. Definitely interested in seeing the sequels. If this video does well. A scale of 1 to 10, I would give this movie a 7.5. I liked it. Didn't expect that. I liked it more than Halloween, uh, even though it was obvious they were drawing from Halloween heavily in making this movie. So, happy Halloween, everyone. I hope it's been good and safe. Hope you've had a fun time, got lots of candy, ran into zero serial killers. Yeah, and thank you for watching this video. I guess all that there's left to say is, bye.